This episode, we got comics, 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 and guess what? More comics! Stay tuned on the Red Cave. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Red Cave. I'm your host Josh, aka The Bad Karma, giving you my review of my recent comic books that uh, came in the mail. Uh, got uh, July's BAM box in. Uh, got a nice special comics that came in. Uh, I'll show you that. Uh, I'll show you all the free comic book day stuff that I picked up and uh, all the sales that uh, the couple stores that I uh, went to uh, show you what I picked up from them so uh, first off I want to give a shout out to Creative Comics and Griffith Screaming Monkey and Merrillville and uh, Ten Planet and Sherville uh, for all the stores I stopped at, um, had to stop at a, a, a quite a couple of them just to get uh, some of the uh, free comic book today stuff that I uh, picked up. So, without further ado, uh, I'll try to go through these a little little quick. I picked up the Star Wars High Republic issues. Also picked up Spider Man Venom. This is all the free comic book day stuff. Uh, Assassin's Creed Dynasty and Valhalla Bread Blood Brothers. This is going to be two different books. Blade Runner Origins. This one, <laughs> this one actually kind of surprised me. This was a neat doll section. The Boys. What was it uh, Hero Gasm? <laughs> if you haven't picked this one up, uh, don't show your kids. <laughs> uh, also picked up Trailer Park Boys. I've never really uh, w I watched a couple episodes of this uh, of this show, and uh, haven't really uh, got into it yet. So uh, hopefully one day I'll sit sit down and watch it. Uh, also pick up Lady Mechanica. 2021 usually this is about <coughs> excuse me usually this one when this one comes out it's the same issue every single year so um joe benitez man uh you need to release some more stuff man <laughs> all right next up is vampire the masquerade haven't uh, looked at this one yet, but I picked it up. I was like, ooh, cool. I like it. <laughs> uh, got Avengers number one with guest starring the Hulk. I always got to pick up Vampirella. There's always a Vampirella book. So you got to pick it up. Uh, saw this one and wanted to check it out because I'm a horror fan. Enter the house of... Of slaughter. Pretty sure they're not talking about Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> All right, Suicide Squad, King Shark. I know a lot of people have been looking for this one. I uh, had a couple people hit me hit me up. I had a couple extra copies, so I hooked them up with them and uh, everything. So the other one picked up uh, Street Fighter Five Back to School. I'm a I like playing video games, so I always pick this up every time I've seen it. School for the Extraterrestrial Girls. I'm not sure what this one was about, but uh, I haven't had a chance to read it, but uh, I like the Breakfast Club uh, cover on it. And last, for the free comic book day stuff that I picked up, uh, Batman number one. Got to pick up the Batman, man. Always. Also, on my bag that uh, that I came with uh, 
uh, the free uh, comic book day stuff. Uh, this 1872 Marvel Hero Clicks. It looks like Iron Man. So let me see if I can get a little closer on it. I don't play the game, so yeah, I might just uh, maybe just gave it out to somebody who actually plays. So, and lastly, got some stickers. They came in with my pack, so all right. Also, well, I picked it up. Uh, I think I picked this up at Tenth Planet. They had this; they were just giving these away, so. Little uh, Empire Strikes Back lethal lithographs. It's pretty cool. Um, at Creative Comics, they had a deal for Star Wars number six. You got the uh, anniversary issue and the regular issue. Had a little two pack right there. Uh, let's see. The next three I picked up at uh, Screaming Monkey. I stopped over there, um, went through their back stock, and I found a, a what if issue that I didn't have. Number 19. So, uh, what if Spider Man had never became a crime fighter? So I don't have that issue. And I, I need it. <laughs> uh, next up is Avengers. 73 um this guy uh had a little table in the back at screaming monkey and uh i saw that i'm a big she hulk fan always have even before the hype so had to pick that up very awesome cover it's like and i hope they do uh the she hulk series really good man i mean uh and send out the hashtag keep Seahawk sexy. Don't 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 reuter out. Yeah, I don't like the way she looks in the in, in the current comics. No, I, I like my sensational She-Hulk. So, and the last one I picked up was the Uncanny X-Men at the State Fair of Texas. Um, big huge X-Men fan, and. I never seen this issue before, so it's a little a little oddball one. Um, had to pick it up, so uh, put it in my collection. Since I'm, uh, I'm an X Men collector, so so pretty. That one's pretty cool. Over at uh, Tenth Planet, my local comic book shops, uh, they had some deals on some uh, Batman books, so I picked up. Uh, Detective Comics 10, uh, 1000, issue 1027, uh, awesome Jim Lee cover, Batman and Soup's on the cover, man, gotta have that, I saw that, I was like, it was on sale for like two bucks, I was like, I'll take it, <laughs> and the other two are Batman and the Three Jokers. If you haven't read this series, it's actually a pretty awesome series. Goes in depth into the Joker, and, uh, his relationship with Batman, and all the other characters around Batman and everything, the Batman family. So, I picked up uh, issue two, because I don't think I have that one, and issue three. So, I picked up for these for like two bucks a piece, man. Awesome deal. I know everybody's going crazy for them Walmart packs right now. Um, I picked up uh, three of them and and they didn't really get any good hits. Uh, but I got some awesome covers, some uh, rare ones right there. Nothing rare, but um, X Men number one. Honestly, I just picked it up. I picked up this pack for just just for this book right here. And also Star Wars High Republic number six, Walmart variant. So, yeah, I picked up them too. So, and the other ones, yeah, it's some average books. So, all right.
Now we get into the to the nitty gritty. Uh, let's do this one right here. This one is from Read Pop. If you don't know what Read Pop is, they they the ones that do uh, uh, the conventions for uh, ECC. C and um, C2E2 in Chicago, and uh, I think they do New York as well. So they had a special, um, I forgot what the convention, uh, that's a special issues dropped, and I think the convention got canceled again, And but uh, I was able to pick up some special issues. And uh, I don't remember the name of the convention. I'll put it. I'll put it right down here. So, so I've been waiting. Uh, I know a couple people been waiting a couple of months for these uh, to come in. Me and my buddy uh, Ricardo been texting back and forth. I've been like, "Hey, did you get your package yet?" And like, "No, did you?" Did, huh? Like, did you? And I was like, finally, it's like this came in. Um, oh, was it last Saturday? I just finally had a chance to uh, open it up in front of all y'all. So you, you get to see what I picked up. All right, I'm pretty, pretty, uh, pretty much sure I'd already know what these are. So. Ooh. Ooh, are you guys ready? Are you ready for this one? Look at that. Man, that's a beauty right there. J. Scott Campbell. Cover X of uh, X-Men number one. Yeah, man, that looks nice. I've been I've been waiting on these to come in, and these are uh, these come in sealed. Both of them, I got I have two copies. Both uh, come with COAs. Um, definitely, these are these are going to CGC. And as far as I can tell, oh man, ah, oh, these look pretty damn nice. This one, this one especially. This I think this one's gonna go CGC. Oh, this one, this one has a little minor imperfections, not too much, but but happy to finally get these. Huh? So, yes. Um, like I said, I, for, I forget the name of the convention, but um, like I said I'll, I'll, I'll post it and post it down below what it was supposed to be. So, now finally, bam box time. This is uh, July. This is July's uh, bam box. This is the last one I was gonna pick up. Um, I already knew the theme. Uh, is, uh, the theme of it was X, you know. Um, so I was pretty much sure you knew what kind of uh, uh, you were going to get an X Men book, but you didn't know what kind or what issue or anything. So uh, I haven't opened this up yet. So let's. Uh... All right. Also. Uh, I want to shout out the BAM box actually making uh, the box shorter and smaller for uh, for uh, for these because it was like it was a pain in the ass. I mean, let me show you real quick. This was the first uh, what the first two BAM box boxes look like, and here's what the second one is. So. At least you guys are learning. So I'll just keep I'll keep the big one for display, anyways. So all right, moment of truth. 
Let's see what we got. I'll let you guys see it first. So I'm not looking. All right, definitely the slabs on top. Also, it comes with a, a reader copy of what was slab. So let's see. I'm not looking. I think this is the back. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, I already see it's X Force number two. And it's uh, done by Unknown Comics and Comics Elite. Ah. Shout out to my boy Sean from uh, Comics Elite. Very cool. Very cool dude. If you get a chance to go on the live streams and everything, so. I already see it's X Force number two, and ooh, nice, nice variant. A nine eight, awesome. Who's this signed by? Benjamin Percy. Ah, he's the writer. Awesome. Yeah, his signature was right up top. This is pretty cool. Awesome. I, I get a slab by by uh, a company that I know. Autographed and <laughs> one of my favorite characters right there, Wolverine. All right, I like that. All right, put that right there. Yes. Oop. Got a little glare. All right. Let's see what else is in here. I said, good shout out to these uh, these new boxes and plus, you know what? It's, it's good to use them as uh, for shipping as well, you know, for uh, reuse. So, get your new stand, and obviously get your reader copy as well. Awesome! And here we go. Right there. It says, uh, Bam featured celebrity known for Wolverine, X Force, Teen Titans, Nightwing, Ben Percy, writer. They got a scan right there of him. Uh, you'd scan with your phone. Here, you get a little close. You'd scan that and uh, it will sh uh, show him, uh, give you a brief message from him on him uh, doing the signings and saying hello to everybody. All right, everybody. That's my review of uh, Free Comic Book Day. Uh, my Read Pop books uh, of uh, X-Men number one, J. Scott Campbell variants. Very awesome books. Very, 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 very awesome books. Been waiting a couple months for these. These look fantastic. And uh, I'm going to be sending out to them to be graded. Then uh, also shout out to uh, Bambox for this awesome book right here. This is a variant cover. Let's see, does it give the variant artist? Cover by Scan. Scan? I think it's pronounced Scan. Or Scan. I'll let you decide but it's also a, a comics elite exclusive along with uh, unknown comic books so very happy with this band box sadly so this brought my this is gonna be my last band box one for the comics so yeah as, as cool as it is 80 bucks a month a little pricey but understandable got cut uh, some good books out of it so, and that's my review. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, share, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And uh, you might see this go up on a live auction. One of these go up on a live auction pretty soon. Um, this, one's, this one's mine. This is staying with me. This ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so, all right. That's my review.
I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time at the Red Cave.